All right, now that we have talked about the three questions and hopefully you're starting to gravitate toward one, let's talk about the requirements, again, listed on your packet. You need to have a creative title for your essay, um, and you need to find three sources to back up your opinion on one of those three questions. Um, one of them is Great Expectations, and then the other two are outside sources. I highly suggest starting at the databases, always going to be a great starting point. Consider TED Talks, podcasts like you might find on NPR, and other reputable sources that you find online. I also would allow you to use the class article that I gave you that we did our close reading with and reflection as one of your sources if you would like. MLA formatting, of course, and then quote sandwiches, which we'll talk more about next week. Um, and then also make sure that you are saving these to your drive as you find them, that you take digital notes so you can highlight, insert comments. I don't expect an extensive amount of notes, but I want to be able to see that you've interacted with the text or the source and that you have jotted down your ideas um, and make sure you upload these to Google Classroom. So let's say you listen to a podcast or you watch a TED Talk upload the link, and then also create a document in which you just take some bulleted notes about what stood out to you. Remember, this is all gonna go on your Works Cited. We are going to be following the MLA Works Cited 8th edition format. Um, again, more mini lessons on that to come, but make sure that you're always holding on to where you got your sources from. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about some due dates. So pull out that packet and let's fill in some of those blanks. So first of all, I would like you to have your topic posted to the Google Classroom question um, by March 5th, okay? So that's just right around the corner. It's a simple, which question did you pick and why? A couple of sentences, that's it. Then, folks, we are going to have to have our research completed by 11.59 p.m. on the 6th, which is Friday. I need to be able to see those on Google Classroom. Again, I wanna see the highlights and the comments, links that work so I can see what your sources are, et cetera. So that would be your two outside sources. You don't need to link anything for great expectations. On the 10th, we have our outline due. If you look in your packet, you'll see the traditional outline that we've been using all year long. On March 11th, you need a rough draft posted to Google Classroom and a printed hard copy for our in-class writer's workshop. If you do not have it printed ready to go, you cannot participate in the writer's workshop, nor can you get the points. So keep that in mind. And then you're gonna have a couple of days before the final copy is due on the 16th, and it's due to turnitin.com and Google Classroom, no hard copy. Those days in between 3.11 and 3.16, I will be giving you digital feedback on Google Classroom to make sure that you turn in the best possible essay. So again, this packet right here, you've got the overall task, the requirements that you need to meet, and then here are the due dates that you filled in. I've also posted this slideshow that I've been showing to Google Classroom, so you can kind of go through, check back, et cetera, um, at any point. And of course, you can always email me and ask me questions. So today, make sure you're awesome for the sub. You are going to be going through the packet, filling in this stuff here, and then you are going to be determining which topic you want to do, posting that to Google Classroom, and starting to pull your research. Again, always start at the databases. That's a great place use the happiness article that we went through in class and then also I have a couple of links on Google Classroom that might be helpful for you to find some reputable and interesting sources like TED Talks and podcasts.